Honorable Minister for Home, Janab Mahmood Ali Saab, John Amit, senior leaders from the Amazon team. I would also like to acknowledge the presence of the new Consul General, Joel Reifman. Today happens to be his uh, first day in office and nothing can be more auspicious than to participate in a momentous event like this. All, all the invitees, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, uh, my greetings to the entire Amazon team for uh, getting this wonderful office. I was checking with Amit. Amit uh, sits out of Bangalore, unfortunately. And I asked him whether his office is as good in Bangalore as this one. So <clears throat> being committed to Bangalore, he can't say anything. But I'm very, very sure that this is something which will be far, far, far superior to your, uh, to your uh, place in Bangalore. But nevertheless, uh, I'm uh, very happy that uh, just in three years' time, this amazing building has come up. I still remember roughly around three years ago, three and a half years ago, Minister K.T. Ramarao and myself we were invited for the groundbreaking ceremony and uh, <clears throat> we were uh, delighted that uh, Amazon had already commissioned the entire uh, construction process. They had selected the builder and all the plans were approved. Regarding the plans also, I have a very interesting anecdote to recall. As all of us now see, this is a very complicated building. While this looks very fancy from the outside, but it has multiple basements, then there is a connected corridor between the basements and all. And uh, typically, to give approval for these kind of buildings, I have worked in the past in the Urban Development Authority here in Hyderabad. And uh, easily it would have taken anything uh, like nine months to one year just to approve the building plans. And I still remember in 11 days flat, we were able to give all the permission and approvals which were required for this building. So this was one of the first <laughs> test cases for our uh, newly launched uh, TSI pass at that time. And I feel very proud that we were successful. And uh, the very fact that such a high quality building has come up, which is again going to be a very iconic building in Hyderabad landscape, the IT landscape, gives me lots of uh, satisfaction. As uh, Amit pointed out, Amazon's uh, footprints in Hyderabad indeed are very deep, deep and significant. The company now houses uh, 20,000 of its employees. As he mentioned, one third of all employees are now working out of Hyderabad, so 20,000 scientists, technologists, data analysts, they are all located in, uh, in uh, this building. Similarly, we all know that you have uh, fulfillment centers also, the largest fulfillment center, 400,000 square feet of uh, space. Till recently, it was already the biggest in uh, Asia and recently I was told that you have added another uh, 180,000 square feet to that. So what was already the largest has become even larger. And then you have the biggest sorting center here and so on and so forth. And I'm very confident that in uh, months to come, some more good news from the Amazon family will come our way. So I also feel super excited that our journey, which has uh, begun roughly five years ago, has uh, <coughs> fructified and it has got enhanced at multiple levels. I have a couple of uh, asks also on this occasion. And uh, I, I'll, I'll be failing in my duty if I don't really speak about them. The first is that we have spoken about it in the past, but uh, we would like uh, this to materialize quickly. Telangana is the home to some amazing uh, textile traditions and uh, handicraft traditions. And uh, I know that uh, Amazon has uh, supported uh, uh, other countries and other locations of uh, creating a separate space on your uh, platform wherein these uh, handicrafts, textiles can be showcased and taken to the global market. So we would like that facility to be created for the Telangana textiles and handloom, uh, textiles and handicrafts also. And uh, this will, I'm sure, give a very good uh, push to the artisans and the weavers also, because uh, sometimes we find that due to lack of uh, high value orders, many of them lead only subsistence kind of livelihoods. So giving a marketing support through a global uh, platform will do very well for them. The second ask is that uh, we all know that uh, Amazon today is riding, actually it is pioneering some of the most frontier technologies, some of the latest uh, innovations in AI and machine learning 
comes from your platform. Every day we come across something or the other which has been uniquely developed by Amazon. People who buy things on your platform or people who use Alexa or Kindle or any other way in which we interact with Amazon. We are amazed at the technology superiority of your uh, offerings. And as we know, a lot of it happens from this office. So the request that I have is that we would like you to play a larger role in the AI and ML landscape of this city. In fact, uh, the state government has set up a center of excellence on uh, artificial intelligence and data sciences. And we would like Amazon to be a major contributor, one of the anchor uh, partners of that uh, center of excellence. You uh, come up with uh, hackathons, you tell us, uh, you give us uh, use cases on how AI has been uh, has been deployed to find some very unique solution, something which is very novel and path-breaking. You conduct master classes in our colleges, in our universities. So there are multiple ways in which you can further improve the efficiency of our center of excellence. And we would like a very strong partnership with Amazon on that as well. The third point which I would like to refer, I'm sure you do it already, but I would prefer if it is done in a more organized and structured way, is to participate in CSR programs. As we know, I mean, all companies, everyone, every large company in this city, in this state, in this country for that matter, is uh, obliged to participate in social development projects. And I'm sure you do it in uh, some way or the other. I myself have participated in some of your CSR programs earlier. I still remember we had uh, visited one orphanage where some, uh, I mean, Amazon had actually adopted that. Deepa, uh, you were with me that day. We had gone together and we had, uh, interacted with those wonderful children. But there is a lot which is uh, available as opportunities to participate in uh, making a difference in the lives of the people. And in, in, on this occasion, I would also like to offer to you that we have what is called the Telangana Social Impact Group, TSIG. And uh, the Social Impact Group actually identifies areas where government funding is either inadequate or uh, much more can be done. Similarly, remote areas where not enough is happening, priority areas where much more uh, corporate sponsorship and support is required. So we'll be very happy to showcase before you lots of such uh, opportunities. And with the help of an active employee engagement uh, component of your programs, we can do something really meaningful in days to come. So once again, my congratulations and good wishes to all of you and hope that our partnership continues to grow and flourish in future. Thank you very much.